Hey y'all, welcome back to Adventuring with Amanda. Thank you so much for being here. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Before we get started, be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you're checking it out for the first time. Today, I am taking you through my van life errands routine. Now, I am in Payson, Arizona, and I know this town like the back of my hand. So when I go into town, I have everything kind of mapped out in a specific route, but I do that no matter where I'm traveling. Winston and I have traveled throughout the entire country, and on days I need to get errands done, especially if I'm not familiar with the city or the town that I'm in, I open up my Google Maps and I map out the best way to get everything done the most efficiently and fuel efficiently. Um, so I tend to try and get everything done like on a street, you know, and then kind of make a circle or whatever. I just try and do it as effectively as possible. And I will be showing you that in this video. Typically I get... I have to stop for groceries, dump trash, get water. Those are the main things. And then I will often get gas or make a pit stop somewhere else. But I will be taking you through that process in this video. Let's get started. I keep all of my trash in a collapsible bin and I don't want it to stink up my van. So the first thing I do when I'm in town is dump my trash and then I can collapse my bin so it's not taking up floor space in my van. I find a lot of dumpsters behind shopping malls, grocery stores, anywhere there are a lot of stores and restaurants, fast food, there tend to be quite a few dumpsters. I try to avoid the dumpsters that have the huge warning signs that say no private dumping or whatever. But back here behind this bashes, there are several large dumpsters and the one that I dump in doesn't have any crazy trash around it or camera warnings or anything like that. So first things first, dump in the trash. I got my trash thrown away. I collapsed the bin in my van so that is on the side and now I have plenty of floor space to put groceries. I'm getting groceries at Bashes and I have Winston with me but I limit myself to 15 or 20 minutes of leaving him in the van. I do roll the windows down and it's not even 70 degrees outside yet so I'm not worried about the heat. I also like to park up close so I know that there are cameras and I do have remote start on my van and two keys for it. So that helps with safety and security as well. But this time I only need a few things in bashes. So I'm going to stop in, probably will barely be in there for 20 minutes and then bring the groceries back. Thankfully, there's also a Dollar Tree next door that has Primo water dispensers. So I'll be filling up my water and also stopping into the Dollar Tree to pick up a few additional items. My mom is coming to Payson for her birthday this Thursday, so I figured I'd stop in and see if I could get some little decorations for camp. I want to make her day special. And this Payson Dollar Tree is so huge and it has so many fun things. I'm bound to find a couple items that will work. I also need to get a basin for dishes because my collapsible sink tore in half again. This one's kind of neat, but probably not big enough for dishes. Dollar Tree has a lot of options though. I just need something basic and rectangular. Ooh, that would be nice if, if uh, it didn't have all the holes in it. Oh, this one will work. Perfect. Dumped trash, got water, picked up a few grocery items, 
stopped at the Dollar Tree. It's only about 11 a.m., but now I'm going to take Winston for some tasty lunch. Payson has been undergoing some awesome upgrades and they closed down the Del Taco next to the Walgreens on the corner here and they actually made it into a Chipotle. This Chipotle is like brand new. I've been wanting to check it out so that's what I'm going to get for me and kiddo today. I also actually noticed that there's a public dumpster in this parking lot. I'm always on the lookout for dumpsters, water, anything that makes my van life more convenient. But in the meantime, it's time to chow down. Mm, got a delicious Chipotle steak bowl to go so I can share it with kiddo. Are you ready to have some lunch? Mm, they did a really good job of putting my bowl together. So I'm, oh, wow, my window is disgusting. But anyways excited now that Winston and I ate lunch the last thing on my list is getting an additional birthday present for my mom I gave her something last weekend but since it's her actual birthday on Thursday and she's driving up to Payson I wanted to get her something special and there's an antique and gift shop that I've been wanting to check out for quite a long time so I decided that I will finally stop and do that since it's not hot out and I can leave Winston in the van for, you know, 10-15 minutes. Not a big deal. But actually, after visiting the store, I found out they are dog friendly. So next time I want to browse around this shop, I can bring Winston in and the ladies that were working there were so kind. I'm excited to show you what's inside because this place is pretty neat. There's a really pretty sitting area out here and all of the beautiful decor on the outside got me excited when I drove by it recently. I'm sure I can find my mom something cool. This place is packed to the brim with crafty items, tons of antiques, local art from crafters, all sorts of stuff. You could probably spend hours in here just browsing, especially if you're looking for a really neat trinket or something unique. There are a ton of special items in here. You can walk outside of the store and check out this barn wood yard and there is a ton of furniture that would be really neat for restoring. Um, I, I saw this really cool cabinet shelf unit that would be nice in a van conversion. You just dress it up a little bit. Honestly, if I ever get like a high top van that I want to build out to be kind of neat, this would be a great place to come because everything is so different. We are back at camp. I just unloaded my groceries. Winston is already comfortable in his playpen. I set up my solar, still sipping on my Chipotle drink. Going to clean up my rug a little bit. Other than that, everything's all set. I got a great gift for my mom for her birthday on Thursday and some decorations for camp just to make it special for her. And I really need the sun to stay out because I need some solar today. Yesterday was overcast. At least we have a nice breeze today. Here's the Dollar Tree basin that I got. Well, Dollar 25 tree. I think it'll work out just fine. It should be easy to clean. And you know what? If it turns out to be crappy or I don't like it or I don't know, whatever, <laughs> it was only a dollar twenty-five investment. So. I just have this stuff sitting in it right now so it doesn't blow away, but I think that'll work out just fine for my dishes. I ended up finding a great gift for my mom. Yay. And the ladies at the shop even wrapped it up for me, which was super kind of them. 
So I have that all set for my mama when she comes to visit on Thursday. In the meantime, thank you so much for hanging out with Winston and I on our drive today. I hope that you had fun. Again, like and subscribe, and we will see you next time.